हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर यू विल लर्न अबाउट द चैप्टर नंबर टू योर चैप्टर नंबर टू इज द टेक्निकल राइटिंग इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल लर्न अबाउट द हाउ टू राइट टेक्निकल प्रपोजल्स हाउ टू राइट बिजनेस लेटर्स मेमोस एंड रिपोर्ट रिज्यूम देर ऑल टॉपिक्स आर कंसिडर इन योर चैप्टर नंबर टू योर चैप्टर नंबर टू नेम इज टेक्निकल राइटिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हियर यू कैन सी दैट देर आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर आर द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टेक्निकल राइटिंग देन सेकेंड वन इज द रिपोर्ट राइटिंग third topic is technical proposal fourth topic is technical description then fifth topic is business letter then sixth topic is agenda of meeting and minutes of meeting and the last topic is resume writing so in this chapter you will learn about this all topics this video lecture is about the introduction of communication and the technical communication so you can uh, you can learn about the technical communications tools in this video lecture first of all what is the introduction of the technical writing you know that the in last video lecture i already discuss about the organization organization means there are the group of people working for the same objective and same goal at that time organization means there are the different departments are working in the same place so there are the communication is necessary for this overall department and the coordination and the communication of this between this department is very necessary for this reason in the organization there are many instance where the written communication is preferred over the oral communication because oral communication may be temporary and may be misguided or may be omitted the message but the written communication is the proof regarding the communication done in the organization sometime some employees have uh, have given the task by the uh, employer but if the employer give the task in the oral form at that time employee can refuse that i cannot get this message or this order from the higher authority so this type of uh, misunderstanding and misbehavior is not conducted in conducted in organization so that's why there are the written communication is very important rather than the oral communication then business letter technical report email writing then notice circulars text messages corporate blogs brochures etc are the example of the written communication done in the organization so you take also the best example from our university that the gtu gtu is given the all information in the circular form so there are the written communication way because the written communication is providing as a proof to the overall the universities students and the other third parties who who or which are affected regarding the communication then every written communication had a specific purpose content and audience when you doing the written communication at that time uh from whom you give the information and this type of audience means which uh, which or whom are your audiences then which content you provide to your audience and for which purpose you give the information to your audience this is a very important when you write a letter when you write any memos and any circular like take the example when you um when you see that the gtu circular uh, there are the circular head or circular name is given that for the exam purpose for the cancellation of exam for the mock interview so this type of uh, written communication had a one purpose means for this purpose this uh, way communication is required means they have to specify that 
for this reason this communication is done then after tools for effective communication its and its benefit effective communications have the various tools and how these tools are beneficial for the organization so here are the five c's of written communication if in your examination they have to uh, ask then write the tools of effective communication or maybe they have to ask that they write the five c's of the written communication both are the same questions okay so let's start it first one there are the five c's first one is a clarity then completeness then conciseness consistency and correctness there are the five tools there are the main five tools of the communication for the for doing the communication effective way okay so there are the main five topics or we can say there are the five c's of communication so first of all there are the clarity clarity means what when you write any letter or when you write any memo or any circular at that time in the mind in the sender's mind there are the clear about the overall information that which type of information sender sent to the receiver so plan and organize the information first of all plan about the overall information that how the sender send the information in the right way and correct form to the receiver then use the topics and sub topics at the relevant place okay when there are the require you have to use the topics and sub topics okay take the example in the business letter you uh, you will learn about that the sell, uh, seller give the proposal to the buyers at that time they have require the main topic then after require about the various different product its name so uh, whenever required to give the main topic and sub topic then after use a clear layout and the indentations and the visual like diagrams graphs wherever that the applicable as a clear message is more likely to evoke a positive response in the receiver's mind whenever require you have to use the graph because sometime uh, in the business letter sometime uh, some parties have required to uh, purchase the, their product at the credit basis at that time the other party have to require the credit worthiness from the uh, from the third party at that time third party give the credit on the basis of the performance or we can say on the basis of profit that on by the business so at that time you cannot write that the in 2012 a uh, company's profit is 2 lakh then in 2030 company's profit is uh, 3 lakhs but you have to use the graph or maybe diagram so it's a easy way or easiest way to convey your message to the third party then after maintain the logical linking of the connected thoughts and the use the word to maintain the coherence means what ki uh, when you write any business letter or any sales letter or maybe circulars at that time your information may be correct connected with your with your earlier topic so it's not created the misunderstanding and the miscommunication between the sender and receiver so first topic is clarity then second topic in the use of simple is uh, symbol language words and to reader can be understand as a familiar word make it easy to connected with the assimilate the message in the short and simple sentence are the easier to comprehend means uh, you have to write the simplest language and simplest sentence so reader can easily understand your words then after technical terms or the business jargon must be used only for the technical readers uh, in the earlier unit number 1 you have to learn about the general communication and technical communication when your reader when your uh, 
audience is the general communication use the general communication at that time you cannot use the technical word but your communication readers are we can say the technical uh, communicator at that time you have to use the technical words then after completeness complete message message is to bring about the desired result without any more clarification all points and the explanation must be sufficient and the detail to avoid the misunderstanding okay so when your message is uh, with the all information and you can write the all information with the clarity at that time your message is complete so it is necessary for the completeness of your message then consider whether the reader has the knowledge about the topic or not as it show the concern for others uh, if you write about the any message and your audience have not any idea about it so you have to concern about it because if they had your receiver have a not any idea whatever you convey the message at that time this leads the miscommunication then it must be comprehensive in the order to make the perceiveness means your message would be completed and it's a necessary for the simplest language so the receiver can get the message then after conciseness conciseness means use a few words as the possible to construct the small sentence conciseness means you can say there are the overall summary okay so when you write any communication letter at that time your overall business letter is a concise means if your uh, we can say that if your letter is very longer or very lengthy so receiver can not have any interest to read your letter okay so your message would be a concise means we can say the summary of your overall information it helps to highlighting the important ideas by eliminating the unnecessary words and save your time if you write a long letter so it's create a uh, time consuming and it may be uh, lead to be a miscommunication so your message would be concise and the small para which uh, which in which you have highlight your whatever the message you try to convey to, to the receiver you have to highlight it and eliminating the words which are unnecessary then remove the irrelevant irrelevant unimportant information it makes the easier for the readers by not culturing which to much the information and unnecessary words when you use the many information and many unnecessary words so readers uh, may be bored uh, and reader can have not any interest in your information so your message would be concise so the reader can easily identify your message which you have to try you have to try convey to them then after use the defined word instead of the ambiguous expression like example is given to here that instead of almost all you have to use this word you have to use the 100% so it's create the definite means almost all means how much but 100% means the 100% work is done then use the active voice rather than the passive voice you cannot use this uh, message is given by us to you but you have to use the active voice this message is given to you okay so it create a effectiveness in your uh, overall business letter then after fourth topic is consistency be consistent in the form of forms and style Uh, there are the various forms and styles of letter it means you must be use a uniformity in the using the margin then indexation then capital abbreviations then tables numbering page listing etc 
means when your organization is using the letter at that time there are the various types of letter full block semi block means which type of uh, uh, letter type you have to use you have to create the uniformity for the all letters okay this helps the document look up pleasant to the reader and provide the ease in the reading means there are the create the easiness in the reader's mind then each section must be consist with the other part the document it looks well and connected the message flow smoothly from the paragraph to another paragraph means first of all you have to write about the which date you have to receive uh, the letter from them and then after you have to give the order first of all you gave the order and then you uh, gave the information regarding the past message this and also uniformity okay so you have to create the uniformity in your message then avoid the contra contradictions in the different parts of the document means not create the different parts of your document you have to create a smooth message that easily convey from the sender to the receiver then after last topic is the correctness there are the last c of your communication effective communication tool that the correctness of the information must be verified before you sending the communication as it take a max the receiver to fill at is means uh, when you when you give or when you transfer your message to your receiver at that time you have to check the correctness of your message means your message is correct correct or not then after you have to send your message to the receivers so it's create the easy easily easy message for the receiver then careful selection of the word with the correct grammar spelling then the punctuations must be used as the create the favorable impression in the mind of the receiver okay sometimes uh, there are the grammar mistake is created the disaster for the overall message it's create the overall destroyness of message so you have to select the proper language and after uh, writing your letter or after writing your message you have to create a proof reading that your message is correct in the spelling in the grammar and then you have to send your message to the receiver so it's create a we can say it's create a uh, definite good impression in the receiver's mind and we also know that the first impression is the last impression so your uh, organization's impress impression is create the uh, biggest goodwill or we can say the biggest image in the your receivers your sellers mind and your overall customers mind okay so that's all about your topic number 1 introduction of effective technical communications or there are the tools of communication or there are the another name is the five c's of communication okay thank you so much if you have any doubt then you will contact me thank you